Hello and welcome to Africa. My group consisting of me, Michael Gann, Shabari Schneer, Carlos Sanchez, Zach Telesco, um, and Matthew Gu have created an African village to present our project with. Welcome to Africa. Gathering the ingredients in an African village. In each of these houses, we place chests um, with different storing different foods. In here is the meat deposit. We have ground beef, boneless lamb shoulder, chicken broth, and chicken. In our next house, we have a grains crate. Uh, we have salmonella flour, quinoa, dinner roll, active dry yeast, bread flour, rigatoni pasta, Moroccan kisra, and white rice. Next, we have spices, but we don't have any spices in our menu, so there's no need to have any. In our fruit basket, we have lemon juice, clementines, date, dried pineapples, navel oranges, raisins, orange juice, and dried apricot. Next, we head to our smellio fish bag, which has nothing in it because we didn't use fish. Next up is the veggie basket. Tomato puree, onions, carrots, cucumbers, tomato fiber, tomatoes, chili, peppers, garlic, vegetable oil, and olive oil. Finally, we have the dairy fridge. We have butter, plain yogurt, vegetable sauce, skim milk, and tofu. And now, now that we're done with our ingredients, let's head to the actual school. The meals, a five-day menu. As you can see here, we have a truck with unloaders unloading um, these, unloading, I guess, the ingredients. Now we can head over to the school. We have to be careful. We don't want to disturb the diligent students that are working hard. Next, this is the lunch area where they will eat their cafeteria food that we provided. This is where we store everything and make all the food. This is like the kitchen. For meal one, for day one, uh, which Zach created, we have these ingredients. Each of these, ingre uh, these ingredients will combine to make four main courses, as you can see here. The cost of each of these courses are below and right here. The lamb soup costs like the most and the total cost of this meal just for one serving for one child would be eight dollars and fourteen cents now we can see here the nutrition facts um you can see here the nutrition facts and then the totals next we have the ingredients by Shabrish salt milk butter bechamel sauce you know all this all this regular stuff these are the costs and the total cost was two dollars and thirty two cents this is just another basic nutrition fact just like the one that we saw with zach with zach's we can put that back and then the next one which just and then the next one which is done by me is with quinoa, tofu, dates, cucumber, and fat-free milk. The cost per serving of each is listed as my mouse grows over it. And the total price is also listed as my mouse grows over it. The number of servings is 16, varies 7 to 8. For each of these, these just all correspond by the column. These also say the um, group it goes to, fiber, carbs, that kind of stuff. And then the nutrition's the nutrition facts are here. And tofu, just another basic one. And then the fat free milk. Okay, next we head over to day four's meal, which is done by Matthew. Uh these are the ones that he used. And the meals that he created using these. Cost twenty two cents, thirty one, one dollar, one dollar and twenty one cents, and the total cost is just about three dollars. These are his nutrition facts. The totals, calcium, all that good stuff. 
Lastly, we have Meal 5, which was done by Carlos. Let's see, source adder pause. All these, these are all the ingredients that he used. And these are the meals that he prepared, or the parts of the meal. Each of these, the costs, down below. The total cost of this meal, poor child, is $2.72. The nutrition facts, right here. And that will cover it, and that will do it for the day five. And that's all the days. So pretty much every single meal is um, about $3 or less, except one meal. Uh, yeah, one yeah, one meal, which was Zach, which was eight dollars and fourteen cents. So it was, it's a very good um, lunch. And also, I'm for, I'm forgot the body systems for the meal is that it does good for is seen right here, and that will cover it up for this area. Now we go to. The future implications part. Oh, whoops, I already have. As I was saying before I got cut off, these are the future implications and recommendations that we have. I'll just give you a minute to read through this and. Yeah. Okay, this is. Page two, still the first question. Page three, still the first question. Uh, no, it starts with question two. Never mind. Yep, and that will cover it up for this. Uh, presentation. Ah, the sun's already setting. What a great way to end it. Well, I hope you enjoyed our presentation, and I guess I can end with a aerial view of the village, the school, and every single area. Overall, I think we did pretty good in capturing the authenticity of the African villages, but that's for you to decide, I guess. Well, goodbye.